Wellington turned on somber weather today. Appropriately so, it was a somber occasion. It's 50 years since the sinking of the Wahine, New Zealand's worst modern maritime disaster. 51 people lost their lives that day. Another died several weeks later and a 53rd victim later still. Today, survivors, family members and rescuers brave stormy weather in the capital to remember the dead and acknowledge those who risk their own lives to come to their aid on that dreadful day. Charlie Drever filed this report. More than 500 people attended a dawn service at Muratai School in the suburb of Eastbourne, where many of the bodies were washed up 50 years ago. One of the Wahini passengers, Nusara Asuku, travelled from Thailand to attend the commemoration. She says the long journey was worth it, as she was able to finally meet the man who pulled her from the water all those years ago, fellow passenger Robert Ewan. It was big events in our family. Six of us were there together and all of us survived. It, it, it's big things that happened to me, even though I was small, I remember what happened. If Rob had not helped me from the water, I could have died. Tony Cord was 15 at the time of the sinking and lived in Seatoon. He went out in a tiny boat to help rescue survivors. Today, he took dozens of Ōtaki College students out into Wellington Harbour for the steam-passed flotilla. I was terrified, absolutely terrified, and there's a photo of me at Seatoon Wharf, and I was showing these Ōtaki students the fact that I could remember the trawl of a bag of it on the wharf, but I couldn't remember the Wahini lifeboat, the Kokoro, the launch, in the photo, I didn't see that, and I didn't see people in stretches. I just corralled everything in. I just, I just focused on surviving on the day. So I don't know what I did on the day, and I don't want to know. To break up the sound of the rain and wind, a young bagpipe player braved the cold to play the boats back to shore. The conditions were less than ideal. All passenger ferry crossings across the Cook Strait were cancelled today. In fact, 20 boats couldn't attend today's event. However, organiser Lewis Robinson says 30 vessels still went out to show their respects. I think the police commissioner probably had the worst place. He was down on the stringer without much shelter and no brolly, so he did his duty very well. event was held at the TSB Auditorium on the capital's waterfront. Among the attendees was Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, who said the tragedy had a significant impact on New Zealand. My father-in-law recalled his own story as a university student due to travel to Wellington for Easter tournament, uh, who was on the sailing that followed the Wahine and his vivid memories of seeing it. My mother recalls being on a bus as she heard the news and knowing that a schoolgirl friend was on that sailing that day. Everyone has a story. Presbyterian Minister Barry Doig attended the midday service. His parents were on the Waihene. My mother, too frightened to jump into the sea, was picked up by a crewman and was tossed into the harbour. She was found unconscious on the beach at Eastbourne, taken to the Hutt Hospital and she survived. My father, Cecil's body, was one of the four whose bodies were found at sea tomb. While many faces were wet with raindrops, others were wet with tears, showing the memory of that terrible day in 1968 is very much still in the minds and hearts of New Zealanders. In Wellington, for Checkpoint, I'm Charlie Drever.